Uh, hello guys, uh, my name is Manadija Farali. I'm a reporter for Refugee Sport Network. And today I'm in live in Kakoma Refugee Camp uh, with one of our uh, youth leader from Sudanese community. Uh, what is your name? Uh, my name is Abdul Seleman Tiso. I'm a Sudanese youth leader in Kakuma Refugee Camp. Okay, uh, Abud, uh, today we are going to discuss some challenges that youth face in our in those sports activities and we are, today i'm going to start with our first question is that it says that uh what are some challenges that young people face in the camp when it comes to playing football and how do they manage to overcome those challenges uh, actually there are a lot of challenges that youth face uh, when it comes to sport uh, like um, when it comes to specifically football uh, when uh, you find that uh, there are very many youths that are willing to participate in the sport but the number of facilities present are not enough and accommodative to them all. Uh, like the pits, you find that uh, the youth in the community are very many, but uh, the number of pits that are available are not uh, enough. And those youth have to try to clear some bushes so that they can create uh, some pits for their playings. Also, uh, things like uh, footballs, net, nets, and all those uh, things are not also readily available and also the shoes for playing so the youth have to contribute a, a certain amount of money so that they can buy those things and also sometimes they buy second hand materials so that they can use them for their trainings and also participating in the games okay uh, thank you so much uh, also i would like to know what do our football leagues or tournament bring the community together and how do the football or the league help to bring community together and what role do young people play in those events uh, actually uh, football and sport in general help uh, bring unity among the youths uh, since it instills in them some understanding and also uh, the unity that grows uh, like for example if i'm to give a, an example prior to uh, to the introduction of the kakuma prima leagues they were always those chaos in the communities due to boredom since uh, most of the youth have nothing to do at home and they tend to as the saying says that uh, an idol mine is a divorce workshop so since those youth have nothing to do they then tend to think of nothing else rather than engaging in evil vices and all other violence but with the introduction of the kakuma prima leagues uh, the youth tend to find it uh, possible and better for them when they go and watch the games and also some of them participating in the games uh, and it helps um, bring understanding whereby you find maybe a sudanese um, sport supporter also maybe intermingling with a Congolese or any other nationality so it has brought a lot of understanding and also you find that uh, people get to know each other well and with that it has brought a lot of uh, a lot of unity and also during those kind of games uh, things like leadership are portrayed whereby if chaos break out you find that uh, the youth or the young uh, pupils uh, the young uh, mm -hmm. tend to take up the leadership role whereby they try to settle the things because uh, like uh, prior to the KPL you find that maybe like the Dinka and the Nuer normally have that, that conflict but currently due to the introduction of KPL and also the support of the youth uh, who, uh, who come up as leaders during those kind of uh, protests tend to make uh, create awareness among their people that uh, sport is something we need to embrace and it helps to bring unity in the community. So the youth help to play a very pivotal role in such situation whereby they tend to make uh, all members aware that they need to cooperate for them to move forward. Okay, uh, thank you so much Mr. Abus. Uh, okay, in your own opinion, how important is a football in the mental and physical well-being of a youth people? Uh, actually, uh, football and sport in at all uh, help not only in mental and physical health but also it also help uh, to improve the psychological and mental well-being of uh, the person participating uh, physical activities always um, when someone participates in physical activities uh, you find there's a chemical known as endorphin which is also known as uh, simply known as a, a chemical that induces happiness into someone so when you participate in the sport you find that uh, that chemical it is introduced in the body and you find uh, someone becomes happier and they uh, become less depressed and also during that moment the stress level lowers and and help uh, since uh, after the stress is lower you find that someone does not tend to participate in evil activities also to the physical aspect uh, once you participate in the sport it helps you keep 
it helps keep you fit whereby you don't find uh, challenges like uh, overweight and all other things that are a result of other things. Also, do you, at the same time, once you participate in a sport, you tend to develop some leadership skills and also some co-curricular activities where you interact with people from other parts of the community, which not, might not necessarily be from your community. And with that, uh, there is that kind of unity that grows and also your um, mindset is also expanded as compared to someone who just stays at home and does not engage in sports. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, lastly, uh, what is your personal experience with football in the refugee camp and how has it impacted your life? Uh, actually, um, football and sport in general has helped uh, me a lot because uh, prior to the introduction of uh, things like the Kakuma Premier League, I was not interested in games and also did not know many people from the other communities, but with the introduction of uh, games and competition in the camp, there is always that tournament that is being held and once you go there, maybe as a fan or as a footballer, there is always that interaction that you develop between your, you and other people as you interact with them and with that it has helped me know a lot of people from the other parts of the community and it has also uh, a kind of uh, built my social network and made me to know a lot of people from all over the camp. So basically, uh, sport has helped um, build my network. Okay, uh, thank you so much for today. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, thank you so much.